towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel In today's tutorial, we are going to make this beautiful short gown so I encourage you to watch the video to the end to understand every part of it. Thank you so much. So without wasting much time, we are going to start now. This is the material I'll be using. This is a CCS of material but at the end of the day we are going to use only um between two and a half yards and three yards for the style so i'm going to place my material on fold now so i've placed my material on fold i folded the material into four i first folded into two and then i folded it again into four using my biggest measurement which is the hip measurement my hip measurement is 44 divided by 4 will give us 11 so I I have 11 inches here plus an extra allowance of 5 inches so you can put extra allowance of 4 inches that will also be enough okay so guys the length of the gown for me is going to be 40 so I'll take the length 40 inches plus 2 inches allowance, making it 42 inches. I'm going to draw this, draw a line here for my starting point. So normally I don't make use of this badge in my cutting. So, so this line here is going to serve as my shoulder line, which is also my starting point. We are going to cut the front and back together, and this gown does not have any zip at the back side so we are not going to add any zipper allowance so i'm going to do my measurement from here this is the folded the open part so i'll be doing my measurement from here so i'll start by adding i'll start by adding my shoulder measurement my shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 8 8 inches the next thing I'll do is to take my neck width. My neck width for this style is going to be 2.5. That is the wideness of the neck for this style, 2.5 neck width. So we are going to come down by one inch for shoulder slope and connect. From there, I'm going to take my armhole depth, which is eight. I'll be adding half inch to that is 8.5 for my armhole depth so at that point I'll, I'll add my shoulder measurements so that we'll get a straight line so I'm going to connect the line so to draw my armhole curve I'm going to insert my boss circumference here my boss circumference is 40 40 divided by 4 give us 10 10 inches then I'm going to add half inch for ease making it 10.5 half inch for ease 10.5 this is my chest line then I'm going to make a curve to make my curve to draw my curve I'll take the midpoint of the armhole depth which is which is 8.5 in this case Divide by 2 will give us 4.25 4.25 So for the front side, normally we come in by half an inch So this is for the front while this is for the back side I hope you understand The next thing we are going to do is to take my vertical measurement which is the measurement from shoulder down i'll take from shoulder to my waist because i'll be using this chest line for my bust line so from shoulder to my waist is going to be 19 inches 
and from shoulder to my hip line is going to be 25 inches so I'm going to draw the line across I haven't added my bust measurement here. I'll come to the waistline and also add my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. At this point, I'm going to add 1 inch for ease. Then on the hip line, my hip measurement is 44. Divide by 4 give us 11. I'll add also 1 inch for ease. So the next thing is to add our sewing allowances. Here I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance at the bust line and at the waist line and also at the hip line. So we'll connect the lines. So, at the hemline, I'll just measure what I have here, which is 13 inches, and I'll add extra 1 inch to 13 inches and place it at the hemline, so that it will have a little A-line shape. So what I have is 13 inches, so 13, 13 plus 1 will give us 14, so I'll place 14 inches here. But if you want, you can add extra. If you want the A-line to come out very well, you can add more here. So I'm going to connect the lines. Next, I'm going to add our neckline. Remember, we've added our neck width here, 2.5. For the front neckline, my neck depth is going to be 3.5 so that by the time I remove my my half inch for shoulder allowance we are going to arrive at 3 inches 3.5 then I'm going to make draw a round neck so this is my round neck then for the back side I'm going to add one inch for the neck depth for the back side. Then I'll connect. So guys, I'm going to cut it out now. So this is the back and this is the front. So I'm going to iron the front line like this so that we get the center. So we need this center line. This line is going to guide us during the placing of the placket at the front side. So here I'm going to measure 6.5 inches for the placket. Then I'm going to open, I'll open from this place to that 6.5 inches. So we have opened it on that uh, center line. So, the next thing I'll do is to come here at the 6.5 inches here. I'm going to measure half inch, half inch, and mark. So, I'll also open up from here to that half inch. So, this is what I have. 
So this is it for the front part. We are going to cut out two pieces of material for the placket. One is going to be shorter than the other one. So I'm cutting the short one first. From here, I'm going to measure seven inches here and mark. The material is on fold. Seven inches. And here I have 1.5 inches. So I'll cut. So this is what I have. Then again, I'm going to cut the long, long one. The longer part of the placket, which is going to be the one at the front side. So I would like to use this part for that particular one. So I'm going to place my material like this and fold it. So the length is going to be 14.5 while the wideness is going to be 2 inches. 2 inches. So I'm going to cut, so this is what I have. So I just want to show us how it's going to look like. So this one is going to be this side. I'm going to place this one this side. I'm going to place this one like this. So I hope you understand what I'm doing. I'm going to add my fusible interfacing on the two of them. side 
We're going to cut something for the neckline to turn the neckline. I'm going to use these pieces for that. So we are going to manage it. But we are going to cut it in a bias form. We are cutting it in a bias form so that when we fold it, it will relax. So I'm going to place. I'm going to place this uh, ruler like this and mark. So here I will measure two inches. and sew our gown so this one I'm going to fold like this and sew to cover the down part I'm going to measure 8 inches from the shoulder like this I'll measure I'll measure 7 inches 7 I'll make a curve like this. This is how we are going to sew the printing. Like this. So we're going to place one here and then place the other one here. kissing print here then towards this side I'll make printing I have 
to fold this side so that I'll place it like this I'm going to place it like this and sew place the back side on it to join the two shoulders so we're going to use this to pipe the neckline so I'm going to place it like this I'll fold it like this and I'll place it like this I'm sewing from the wrong side. the right side now I'm going to fold like this and use it to cover this like this I give it a good press it will lap very well so we're going to shape the sides and put our pockets remember the sewing allowance we added is one inch The pocket opening is going to be 
pressing button and if you want again you can make a button hole do cover button or any button and then put here for me i'm going to put pressing button here and here so that it will not show outside so feel free to do what you want this is the pocket this is the pocket and this is the down part it has a little a line shape at the down part so guys if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done that already so this is basically it for the tutorial thank you so much for watching Till next time, for now, it is bye-bye.